Around a month ago, I had made a video on a new AI coding agent that was capable of doing what Bolt, V0, and Lovable are capable of doing in terms of generating anything based off of prompts you send in to the app. It's a web app that is completely open source and it's called Sourcebook. Sourcebook is a TypeScript-centric app development platform with two main products. You have an AI app builder, which is where you will be able to build for TypeScript, you can create, edit, and run web apps, use the AI to generate the boilerplate, modify the code, and even fix things. You are also able to edit the app with a hot reloading web preview with this AI app builder. And then secondly, you have a TypeScript notebook. This is where you can create, run, and share TypeScript notebooks. You can export to valid markdown formats. You have an AI feature for exploring and iterating on ideas. You have diagramming with mermaid for rich annotations and it's all powered by node.js now overall this is definitely an amazing product that's worth checking out if you haven't already as sourcebook is completely open source under the apache 2.0 license which runs locally on your machine and you also have the ability to access it on the web before we get started i got a huge new update this is where i've launched a new newsletter this is something that's going to be sent out on a weekly basis and it's essentially going to be updating you on the latest AI advancements, comparison of different large language models, AI news, as well as ranking different AI agents. So definitely go ahead and subscribe to this because you don't want to miss out on free AI news. Ever felt stuck when learning complex subjects like math, data science, or even programming? Well, let's talk about something that's been a game changer for me and it's called Brilliant. Brilliant is where you learn by doing. They've created thousands of interactive lessons that make it easier for you to dive into subjects like mathematics, data science, programming, and even AI. Now, personally, I love Brilliant because it's all about problem solving, not memorization, with their first principle approach where you can build a solid understanding from the ground up. It's proven to be six times more effective than just watching videos, and it's crafted by experts from places like MIT and Google. Whether you're on your phone or desktop, you can learn something new in a few minutes. Plus, Brilliant recently launched new courses like data science with real world data or Python programming that's perfect for beginners and pros alike. To try Brilliant for free for 30 days and get 20% off of your annual premium subscription, visit the link in the description below so that you can access it. But with that thought, let's get right back into the video. Just take a look at what I was capable of creating last time around with Sourcebook. This is a photo gallery that was created within one single prompt that was sent in to Sourcebook, which is just insane. And in other cases, I was also able to develop a Patreon hub, which is exactly similar to how my original Patreon looks. This is the original Patreon, and this is what I was able to create once it finishes previewing. And you can see how similar it is to the Patreon hub, and you can see what Sourcebook was actually able to output. Now before we get started, I want to talk about a couple of the new updates that have been introduced to Sourcebook. You have the ability to directly deploy Sourcebook apps and this is where you can directly post them into custom subdomains. You have customizable social media previews. You have smarter generation with their AI agent, which is where you're going to get smarter app generation, backend support, you have powerful plugins, asset management, as well as visual editing. You also have a new Agent 2.0 that's going to be releasing soon, which is a smarter agent that is going to be expected to launch in about two weeks. And essentially, this is a better agent that is going to be able to generate better and smarter designs for you. Now, before we get started and showcase what you can do with Sourcebook, let's showcase how you can install this locally. What you'll need to do is make sure that you have the prerequisites. You need to make sure that you have Git installed. Now, you have an option to install this with Docker, which might be an easier way for you to get started with. So you can follow through with the second option where you can easily clone the repository and run the Docker command, which I'll leave in the description below. You will also need the core pack packages installed as well as node.js if you're going to be following through with the first step, which is the one that I'm going to be showcasing. But essentially, once you have these prereq prerequisites fulfilled, you want to go over to the GitHub repository, click on this green button, Copy this link to your clipboard, scroll back down to the installation tab. And what you want to do is open up your command prompt 
once you have opened it up, you want to then type in git clone and then paste in the link that you just copied. Once you have uh, pasted this in, click enter and this will start cloning this repository. Next, you want to copy this npx command. And what you want to do first is go into the sourcebook directory. And now you want to paste in the npx command and click enter. This will start installing all the necessary packages. So once it has finished installing, you can then go ahead and use the second command to start up sourcebook locally. So this will start installing it with the first command, but with the second command, it will then load it up within your local host. And there we go. It is now running on our local host. And essentially what you want to do first is go over to secrets and you want to paste in your API key because this is going to be key for you to actually use whatever model that you would want. In this case, it's recommended that you use Anthropic. And then once you have pasted in your key, you can go back into the main section. You can go over to create an app, name it whatever you want. For example, Spotify app. You can then request what you want to do, create a Spotify clone. So this is actually a live demonstration of it creating the Spotify clone. So right now it is working on generating all the code and you can actually see the code afterwards uh, once it has finished generating and you're going to be able to view all the different files that it was capable of generating and afterwards you can view the preview of it over here and this is your Spotify clone. You can see how accurate it is to an actual Spotify uh, application and you have the ability to even generate the logo, different tabs. Now next up I'm going to have it create a fitness tracking application. So let's see what it's capable of doing in terms of generating this basic app with this new smarter agent. And it looks like it has generated this fitness dashboard. Now we're going to add a bit more functionality to this. So I'm going to keep iterating on the design as well as the features. And this is the second iteration of this fitness app. We have the ability to track our main fitness goals like daily steps, calories, active minutes, as well as our workouts. But you also have the ability to set these different goals within the goal section. And then you can even add different workouts. So you can give it a type. For example, if it's a weight training workout, you can log that cardio and so many others and the duration as well as the calories burned. And then you can save that workout. But essentially, we have a fully functional fitness dashboard. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. Once you have finished coding out your product, you can go ahead and click publish and you can actually share this as a link to other people. And you can even add it to a subdomain, which is also pretty convenient. You also have the ability to download all of your files here. You can access any of the files by clicking on this button on the left hand panel. You can even install and add packages, which is really nice. And you can also work with the notebook, which is the other feature that we had mentioned. But that's essentially a gist of this new updated sourcebook product. I'll leave all the links in the description below. It has definitely gotten even better and faster than before. You saw how I was capable of creating these apps within a couple of seconds, which is the capability of Sourcebook. And this is definitely a great alternative to many of the different web app builders that we've seen on this channel. But that's basically it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you take a look at Sourcebook with the links in the description below. Follow me on the Patreon, follow me on Twitter, as well as subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. I'm always constantly posting about the latest AI advancements, so definitely subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.